Good morning, everybody. I'm uh, doing a little ride up the parkway today. I have the day off. I'm bored. I need something to do. And so I thought I'd ride up the parkway to the highest point on the parkway, which is the Richland Balsam Overlook, which is like over 6,000 feet, just over it. I haven't been up there, but I thought why not ride the CT up there so I can mark that one off the list too. I think it's supposed to rain all week, so I really wanted to get out. And it's a weekday, so the parkway is a little less busy, which is nice. One of the many things you need to watch out for on the parkway are the blind corners where there are also overlooks. Uh, a great example is this GMC in front of me. Uh, as I was coming up around the corner, I could just barely see the edge of his truck flooring it out into the road where he promptly slowed down and went below the speed limit. So now I'm stuck behind this guy. But it's good to be alert really got to watch yourself, especially uh, with these twisty, narrow, blind corners. Otherwise, you'll end up on the hood of this guy's GMC on his family vacation. <laughs> I'm fascinated by these wooden guardrails. Like, they're huge, thick boards. Like, huge pieces of lumber. But would they stop a 5,000 pound truck coming down the road that slams through it? I don't think so. I think it's like safety theater. It might slow you down. Uh, 
I don't think it's going to do much. made it. Big group of bikers there right now, all taking pictures. I'll hop in when they're done. Stop and take a look.
Well, that was successful. Hung out for a little bit. There are some guys on big bikes hanging out, taking pictures in front of it. Whole group of them, probably eight, ten guys. So I just ate some snacks, drank some water, warmed up my legs because I'm pretty dang cold, or I was pretty cold. And then they all took off and got a picture, which I'll put right here. You probably saw a picture. And then a really nice lady came over and asked me if I wanted a picture with the bike, which was sweet of her. And uh, so she took one of me, which I'll put right there. Lots of people out taking pictures, enjoying the weather and the view. We're heading back to Asheville. I am freezing, which feels so weird to say in the middle of August, but it's really cold up here when the wind's blowing and you're riding. I knew it was going to be chillier, but, or at least cooler than it was down in Asheville, but I didn't think I'd actually be this cold. I'm like shivering. Was it worth it? Yeah. I mean, I can say I rode this to the highest point of the Blue Ridge Parkway. Which I'm confused, like, I guess... Well, no, I guess that the parkway where it meets the road to Mount Mitchell must be like high fives. Because Mount Mitchell is at like... 60... Oh man, 67 hundred feet? I think that's right. Yeah, I guess the parkway must be high fives where it meets Mount Mitchell State Park. The CT was a real head turner back at that overlook. And by that I mean looks of confusion <laughs> were given when they turned and saw it. They're like, all these dudes were on like, you know, GS 1200s and Harleys and a couple of dudes on gold wings. They turn around, they see a dude on a Honda Trail 125 and they must be like, what? The heck are you doing up here, dude? Great question. I've got no idea. Just cruising, man. Same thing as you. It's a lot easier to come downhill with this trail than it is to go uphill sometimes. Like, I'm flying. I'm not going super fast. I'm going like 48. But still, coming all the way up this, whoo, there's some steep parts. Little Honda Trail wanted me to put it out of its misery. But, like always, takes whatever you throw at it. It's warmer down here, so I'm not so mashed potato brained. Cold was making me feel kind of dumb. Oh, she's painting. Oh, that's lovely. Well, I guess that's gonna do it. We're just making our way back on the parkway the way that we came back to Asheville. So nothing exciting here. But thank you for watching. Thanks for tagging along on this ride with me. If you ever find yourself down on the Blue Ridge Parkway near Asheville, you should uh, drive down to the Richland Balsam Overlook. So you could be there at 6,000 feet. Highest point of the parkway. And you can take a picture and hang out and have a little picnic too.
I guess make sure you like and subscribe. Share it if you want to share it. Oh, hit the little bell button so you know when I post stuff. And until next time, I'll see you everybody. Peace. I couldn't resist a little bit of dirt. You guys know how I am. Ooh, graffiti. Neat. Morons. We're in Bent Creek. Um... I was on the parkway, I was bored of riding pavement. There was a slow car in front of me. Thought, meh, I'll get some dirt in. I haven't been in Bank Creek since I was here with my dad. Which was, yeah, it was like a month ago. It was like late July, so. Anyway, we're in here right now. Well, I'm just going to cruise on home through here. You guys have probably seen all this before. So I pulled off here because I had to pee. But it looks like somebody had a little campsite here. You're not supposed to camp in Bank Creek other than in the actual campground. But uh, there's a bunch of trash. But what do we find? Tupacalypse now. Dang! Mm -hmm.